There ain't nothing that an HBCU in no black community across America is doing for their people. What is it doing? Name an HBCU that's getting people off of crack. Bring it up! Name an HBCU that's bringing people out of poverty. Name Jeez. one. There ain't one. All of this is just jokes and chives. Two dogs and alpha pie, sapphire sis, this and sis that. It's all garbage. At the end of the day, Jeez. you're going to realize that the only thing that's going to matter is if you conform to the word of God. You don't believe what that what, what he just read, do you? I saw it in your face. He was like, brothers, pay attention. I want to ask both of y'all. So I'm going to show you. Why do you think it's important to know your nationality? Why, why why knowing your nationality? Why is that important? Why do you think, brother right here in the Hawks, why do you think it's important to know your nationality? Or do you think it's important to know your nationality? Yeah? No? What about you? You think it's important to know? Sister? Do you think it's important to know your nationality? What about you? What's the importance of knowing that? We got an elder brother right here. What's the importance of knowing your nationality, the nation of people that you come from? Why is that important? Well, we won't repeat the same problems that we have so that we, don't come, so that we don't repeat the same problem that we've been having for all these years as blacks in America. We're at an HBCU college. If you ask any of these uh, graduates of 20 years and 15 years and 10 years, if you ask any of these brothers and sisters out here their nationality, they will tell you black. They will tell you African-American. In 20 and 30 years, they have not known their nationality. For over 400 years in this country, we have gone by black and African-American. Are we black? I see the sisters back there. Are we black? What color is his shirt? Are we black? You said you what? Pecan tan. You pecan tan. That ain't no nationality. <laughs> but it's funny. It's funny that we. It's funny that you walk around on the earth. Everybody, every other nation knows their nationality. They have a land. They rule governments. We're in, here in America, been stuck here for over 400 years. We own nothing as a people. We own nothing. We don't even own this college. The so-called white man gave us this college. We don't own nothing. We get their education to continue to further their system, and nobody sees anything wrong with that. If I go out and I say, what's your nationality? Come here, brother. What's your nationality? Tell everybody what your nationality is. African-American. He says African-American. What's your nationality? She says African-American. What's your nationality? African-American. All right, let's examine this. What's your nationality? If you had to fill out an application, what would you put? African-American, right? Or you would put black, right? So let's examine that. Where does the name Africa come from? Where does Africa, the name Africa come from? The name Africa comes from a man named Leo Scipio Africanus, a so-called white man. He conquered a black man whose name was Hannibal during the Second Punic War. They don't teach this in college. They don't teach this, you know why? Because the minute you understand your nationality and you know who you, who you are, you can do something. You can change and come back to God's laws. Because your nationality is an inheritance from the Most High God. That's what your nationality is. It ain't something that was just given to you. Here on this sign, they, this is what they call us in America. Blacks, American blacks. Give me uh, Isaiah 1 and 3. We're called American blacks. We're called Haitian. We're called Jamaican. Those are not nationalities. Those names was given to us in slavery. You pay attention, bro? A little bit, kind of, I kind of want to go do something to eat, you know.
But guess what? Nobody out here is going to teach you and tell you what your nationality is except these men in purple right here. I'm going to show you what happened to us according to the Bible. Now what this is, is not a religious book that's been, that they, they took and put in all the churches all over the world. This is your true identity. Right. This is your history book written by your forefathers. That's what this is. But what the so-called, what the white man has done, your enemies, they took in the Bible and put it in churches all over the world and gave religion to the world. This book was only given to the Israelites. Right. It was only given to a specific group of people. When Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt, who did, who did God send them for? Did he send them for everybody? You know the story, right? Let my people go, Moses, children, you know the story? So did he bring all people out of Egypt? Or who did he bring out? He brought out who? The God's chosen people, right? Y'all heard the story, you read it in, the, in church all the time. He brought out of Egypt the children of Israel, which is the people of the book. The God's chosen people are the Israelites. So let's see what God said about the Israelites. Read. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib. It says an ox knows who his owner is, and an ass knows where his master's crib is. Come on. But Israel, but the children of Israel, the people on this side right here, the people on this side, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Come on. Does not know. They don't know who they are. They don't know who their who they God is. They don't know where their homeland is. They don't speak their own language anymore. We have accepted this English language and accepted everything that we have been given to us in this country and don't know what's going on. We just wake up every day, live a normal life like we just regular people. We're not regular people. Right. We're royalty on this earth. That's and until right. we come back to understanding who we are in this Bible, we're going to be what we are today. Nothing. Right. It says the knock goes his owner and the ass is master's crib. But Israel, they don't know. Come on. My people. Who? My people. God says, those are my people. My people does not consider. You don't consider that you're the greatest people on earth. You don't consider that you're, you're a princess. You're a princess. That's odd, right? You heard it going up, daddy's girl, princess. You probably heard those little things, right? Guess what? You're a real, living, breathing, walking princess. That's right. He's a real God on the earth. We're right. sons of God. Right, right. But look at us today. Look at the princesses and the sons of God today. Today you don't know nothing. We think HBCU is where it's at. HBCU ain't nothing. There ain't nothing that an HBCU in no black community across America is doing for their people. What is it doing? Name an HBCU that's getting people off the crack. Bring it up. Name an HBCU that's bringing people out of poverty. Name Jeez. one. There ain't one. All of this is just jokes and jobs. Q dogs and Apple Pie, Sapper Sis, this and Sis, that. It's all garbage. At the end of the day, Jeez. you're going to realize that the only thing that's going to matter is if you conform to the Word of God. That's, that's it. Right. If you're not, not going to conform to that, have your foot on earth now. Because out of every ten people that you can count out here, seven of them are going to be put to death when Christ comes back. Bring it up! You go up and you line up and see all these hundreds and thousands of people out here today, seven out of ten of them are going to die. Why? Because they do not want to accept their nationality. Accepting your nationality means you have to keep God's commandments. Let's bring it That's up. what it means. It means that you got to take control of the earth. You got to come into the understanding that you're God and start ruling the earth. That's what it means. You know what comes with that? Putting down games. No more video games. No more hanging out with the homies just uh, kicking it because you'll understand a bigger mission. The, mi the bigger mission is to establish a kingdom for this, this, your, this your girlfriend. The mission is to make this her, make her your wife, not a girlfriend. You plan on making her your wife? You hear that? So, you should be marrying the sister. And Lord forbid it, if y'all are laying together, guess what? You gotta marry the sister according to the word of God. Give me that an exit real quick. Bring it out. You gotta marry her. That's what it means. You can't. There's, this is what's gonna put an end to the single parent households in our community. You coming into the understanding of who you are and teaching the child that y'all hopefully have together after you're married, teaching your sons and your daughters that they are the Israelites, according to the Bible, this is what's going to fix our community. Why the HBCUs ain't doing that today? Instead, they're trying to sell their gifts, their items on God's high holy day, which is the Sabbath. They're selling food, cooking food, breaking, breaking all God's commandments. And then tomorrow they're going to say, Lord, forgive me. Like tomorrow is God's Sabbath or something. You'd be lucky if the Most High God will send fire on all of us right now. Right. Read what you got.
Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. Hello. And if a man entice a maid, you entice her, this is a maid, right? You a virgin? All right, so look, she's a virgin. Now listen, this is talking about you. If a man entice this maid, come on, that is not betrothed. She ain't betrothed to nobody, meaning she's not promised to anyone. Read. And lie with her. If you lay with this sister, come on, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. You got to make her your wife if you do that. You understand that? Don't pour this sister out. Don't make this sister. This is a virgin. Don't make her a whore, bro. You got to cherish that. Because I guarantee you, again, one in ten, I mean, seven in ten out of here ain't virgins. Seven in ten out of here are whores, bro. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten is whores, bro. I guarantee you, it's rare that you find a sister that is a virgin. That's a gift from God. You better, you better hold on. That's a gift from the Most High God. Y'all got to prove each other, learn each other, and then marry each other. You understand that, brother? Give me all Psalms 82. This is your job. This is your job. This, you're a princess. You got to take that and run with it. But you got to fix yourself, too. You understand that? You got to come into your princess mindset that God has given you. Y'all brothers, y'all still listening? Come here, I want to show you something. Read. Psalm chapter 82, verse 6. Bring it up. I have said, ye are God. You hear that? What it say? Yeah, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man on this earth, you're a god on the earth, read. And all of you are children of the Most High. We're children of the Most High God, but look at us. We're the children of God, read. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O oh God. What God say? Arise, O oh God. What your name is? Jaden. It says, uh, Jaden. It says, Arise, O oh God, Jaden. Judge the earth. Your job is to judge the earth, read. For thou shalt inherit all nations. You're supposed to inherit all other nations. Meaning all other nations are supposed to be in subjection to you. They're out. supposed to be in subjection to the black man that's on the earth today. Boy. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. They're supposed to be under us. But are we under them? Or are they? Are we under them today or over them today? We look at all other nations. Where are we today? We, yeah, but where are we? Are we are we at the elite of the elite of America? No, we're at the bottom of the total pole. Bring it out. And guess what? Black people satisfied being at the bottom. Bring it out. We, they satisfied being on the bottom. They think this is living it up right now, breaking God's commandments. I'm gonna show you something. Read. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. Bring it out. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. You gotta get this in him. The, God says you're a holy people unto him. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above. What's that? Above. Below. Above. Equal to. Above. At the bottom of the totem pole. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now, God said that he made us to be above all people on the face of the earth. So the question is, why ain't we above all people today? What do you, why do you think? Why are we at the bottom? Why did this happen to us? This right here. Why did this happen to the saints? Because before this happened to us, he said that we would be above all people on the earth. And then this happened. Why? Huh? We didn't know our nationality. Yeah, we knew our nationality. When we came into slavery right here, we knew who we were. It's because of this happening to us, we forgot it. Why did this happen? If we were supposed to be above all people, why did this happen? Why do you think? Take a guess. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. No, no, no. 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it up. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken. Hearken means listen. God says it shall come to pass if you don't listen unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to what I'm saying, read. To observe. To pay attention to what I'm telling you. To do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God told these people, the children of Israel, if you don't listen to the commandments, what I'm about to tell you, these curses are going to come upon you. Right. Now let's find out this curse. Let's read this curse. Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy son and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What's this? What's that called? Read it again. Look at the sign. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. This is history. This is real history right here. It says your sons and your daughters shall be given unto another people. 
That's called slavery. Read on. And thine eye, you're going to see your children, shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. You're going to see your children being taken away from you, and there ain't going to be nothing you can do about it. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. There ain't going to be no power in your hand to get your children back. But you're a God, though, right? So why can't you get your kids back? You're a God. Because he took that spirit from us. He took that power from us. Now we just niggas in America. Which, what, what's his question? He said, uh, how can we prove, like, what scripture can you, sh that proves that we are actually the Israelites? Give me, uh, I'm going to read, let's stay, let's stay right where we at. Let's, let's stay where we at. Who did this happen to, history teacher and the brother right here? Who did this, who is these people? Who did, who did it happen to? See this? It's what? It's slave Africans, right? That's what you say? What about you? What do you say? Who is this? Did this happen to your people? But I say, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a born again Christian. Listen, but you, I'm a, stay where we at. We're talking about how can we prove uh, that we're the Israelites. Okay, let's stay right there first and then we'll get to the born again Christian. Who did this happen to? And is it in the Bible? But Israel's life, a lot of the Israelites Is this in the Bible? Bible? Because they, they died in the wilderness. A lot of the Israelites. How? I'm looking at this. Right see, you see this? This is why we can't get nowhere as a people. If you're a teacher, when you're teaching, what do the students do? They're supposed to listen. So there's a teacher and there's a student. On this platform, we're the teachers, right? So here's the question What other people in America did this happen to? Name a people in America that this happened to. Only black people, what? that's why we got them right here, the so-called Indians, right? So now, his question is, how do we know that we're the Israelites? Because the Bible says it. Let's read verse, uh, chapter 28, verse uh, 15 again. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. This is a history lesson on who the Israelites are today. If he wanted to answer, he'll listen. Read. But it shall come to pass. So God says in the Holy Bible, it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Who is he talking to? He said, if you don't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God. Hold that. Let's find out who the audience is that he's talking to. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To all who? All Israel. So the audience that's being spoken to is who, brother? The audience that's being spoken to is who? Israel. All right, now we're going to go to first chapter, the same book, chapter 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass. Talking to the Israelites, this shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you Israelites don't listen to the voice of God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God told the Israelites, if y'all don't listen to what I'm about to tell you, these curses are going to come upon you and overtake you. Let's see what some of those curses are. We're going to start with this one because it identifies who the people are that went into slavery. Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. You, you hear that? It says your sons and your daughters shall be given to another people. Who else on the earth did that happen to? Where their sons and daughters were taken away from them and given to another people. Who else? Nobody else, right? So why ain't the pastor teaching that in the church? He started hopping and hooling and on jets and, 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 and tied money. And every Sunday, we got people go bringing boatloads of money in there. But he ain't teaching them that hey, y'all are really the Israelites. Don't he read the Bible? Isn't he supposed to be a pillar of the community? Church on every corner. It's a church on every corner around here. So God told the Israelites, you're going to go into slavery if you break these commandments. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, the fruit of thy land. So when we look at this chart right here, where do you see yourself on this side? Which one? Which one? Black American? So you would be from the tribe of Judah. Where do you see yourself here, man? You would be from the tribe of Judah. That's who you are. What grade you in? Ninth grade. Have you ever heard or have you ever been taught your nationality? No. That's why you call yourself African American or black. Like the brother and the sister out there. Like all these people out here, they're going to tell you the same thing. Why is that important? I asked that earlier. Why do you think that's important? Why? 
Sister, why do you think it's important to know your nationality? Or is it not? A, that ain't important. We don't need to know that. Nope. That's why you out here breaking the law of Sabbath, because you don't know your nationality. Gonna go to church tomorrow and say, Lord, help me thank you, Jesus, and forgive me for, for breaking your commandments. The Lord ain't hearing none of that. The Lord don't hear sinners. It's important to know your nationality because the kingdom of heaven belongs to you. Right. Read Acts chapter 1 verse 6. Once you know who you are and that Christ is a black man and that you got to come back to keeping God's commandments, everything is supposed to change about you. You're not supposed to be amongst these, 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 these brothers and sisters out here breaking God's commandments. Right. You got to change that. Right. Read what you got. Acts chapter 1 verse 6. Yo. When they therefore would come together, they asked of them saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? So the disciples understood that the kingdom of Israel was going to be restored. What did Christ say? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. So it wasn't for, time for them to know. It wasn't time yet. Meaning, once Christ died, there were other things that needed to happen on earth before the restoration of Israel is going to take place. What you see happening right now, this is the, re the restoring of Israel. You learning your nationality today? You learning your nationality today? That's restoring Israel. Because now, you know you ain't just black. Now, you know you just ain't African, you're not an African American. Now you know, you know that you're an Israelite. Whether you believe that or not is another thing. But you can't tell the Most High on the Day of Judgment that I didn't know. Yeah, you knew about it. It's time to fix yourself. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.